What is going on, everyone? And welcome to Cart 6T3. My name is Ben. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel yet again. If you are new here, ah, I'm going to get you. <laughs> if you didn't mind subscribing to the channel, that would be fantastic. And if you're new here or old here, if everybody could just collectively get together and maybe hit that like button on this video sometime during this video. If you like this content, that would be phenomenal. I really would appreciate that. So going through more things uh, in my list of things, and I had this kind of in my head of an idea I wanted to do as a video, and then I witnessed it last Saturday while I'm racing. Now, I am not picking on the people doing this. For one, one was a child, and they don't know any better. For number two, this could be a new carter. This is somebody that might have an idea of what, you know, hey, this might be a faster way around this track and I'm gonna try it. I can tell you that it is not the faster way around. I saw you, I saw you pass somebody, good for you, but you weren't with the leader and the reason for that might be partially this reason. What reason am I talking about? I am talking about your line of entry. I am talking about where you're positioning yourself on the straightaway as you enter the turn. And two people that I I just happen these I'm not again I'm not picking on them. I'm just using them as an example. I watch this with my own eyes. I watch a child who just I was once at that point. I, I had to be pulled aside by my dad and say, hey, listen, you are driving down the middle of the straightaway. That is not correct. This is, uh, it's not gonna work in your favor. But then I saw an adult do it as well. Now, you know, it, I'm not, again, I'm not picking on the adult for doing it. Like, there may be two reasons. First off, you may be a rookie. This might be your first time racing. I don't know who it was. I just happened to witness it. I didn't notice a number or anything like that. I'm not calling anybody out. All right, that's, it's just something I saw happen, that they were driving down the middle of the straightaway. So here's the track, and they were driving down the center. And I get the desire to do this. Your theory is if you run a smaller circle, well, oval, you know, if you, if you run smaller, it's faster. The inside line's always faster. In theory, yes, but not the way our carts run. So we don't have... We have clutches, and they engage at a certain RPM. Your engine doesn't want to, it doesn't want to come down too low, or else it'll bog. So, what oval racing is is momentum racing, whether it be from a Predator class or Junior, you know, red plate, purple plate, blue, whatever plate it is that you guys run. Whatever plate it is that you guys run in your in your uh, in your little engines there uh, to clones to KT100 to open guys like myself momentum racing you see me uh, in the UAS cart you see the guys I compete against we run the a similar line and that is a wider entry you take that nice wide swoop into the turn to get a better exit off the corner well that is just it we don't. Uh, what we don't have torque converters that's one of the things i was so if you're you go to your local you know little go-kart uh race we have a place called uh minahans that's probably 20 minutes from me and they have a little oval well people run first off they don't even do lefts there last i knew they're doing rights and that's wrong rights are wrong for oval racing lefts only you we all know this all right i don't know why they're doing it tire wear switch the tires what do you anyway i digress just very frustrating when I drive by and see people making right-hand turns. Um, <clears throat> so they have torque converters in them. So you can run that super low line and the the clutching of the torque converter is going to compensate for you running that lower line. So essentially you can kind of run around the inside and then nobody can pass you and it's just kind of bogus. Well, what we do is, I, I've done a video on this before and some of these ideas might get revisited in a sense because you know, new people coming in and I, you know, a, a kind of a fresh thing to, to bring to your attention is that when you come off the corner, again, your track is this wide, you don't run center. You come off the corner and you fade to the outside and then you come down into the turn, which launches you lower off the next turn. So we're going to take our little, uh, we're going to take our marker here and just give you a quick little idea here. So if this is the inside of the track, all right. You do not want to come and drive here. This is too low. As soon as you enter here, 
it's going to cause you to come way out wide. This is going to cause usually a tight condition. It's just not going to want to do it. So if I get my eraser here, super professional here, guys, super professional. All right, get my eraser here. And we're going to draw, draw the same circle here. So what you're going to want to do is you would come out wide here. You're going to clip this little bit and then you're going to let it ride out and then do it over here. So you're creating your own oval essentially from if this is the track. So this is the oval. You're taking a high line into here. Probably not this looped, but you, you get the premise. If you come high here, then you come off low off the next turn and you keep that momentum rolling. If you come in too low, you're going to exit high. It's going to kill all your momentum. And it's just not not the way it works best. If you know, again, it's not that the person did bad uh, in the adult class. They did happen to get by one of the carts, but who knows how they were actually handling. But the leader was checked out, and the leader was running more of a proper line. So uh, for the kids out there, I want to say your dad's right. I know I'll be the bad guy. I'll, <laughs> I know you don't. Sometimes I was there that my dad would be da -da 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 in my ear and you know, you're not doing this right. And I'm like, yeah, whatever dad, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Well, <laughs> when your dad says, come further out to the, to the wall to get a bigger, better swoop into the turn, he is not lying to you. It is momentum racing. You wanna keep the RPMs up in your engine so they maintain that all around, around the track. If you come in too low, and then you pick up that tight condition, so you're going to come in, it's not going to want to turn, you're going to cross up, and your engine is going to bog, it's and it takes all that, it took all that momentum you just had out of it. If you take a nice wide sweep to it, you're, it's gonna, your engine RPM is going to remain up, you're going to come out of the gas maybe a little bit, if not lift at all, uh, breathe a little break, and you're going to shoot off the next turn. Momentum racing, that's what we do in ovals. Um, it's not point and shoot, I mean, I could... You know, us open guys can point and shoot all we want, but I can tell you a person who has the same horsepower as I do is not and doesn't point and shoot, doesn't slam on the brakes in the center of the corner. If they use momentum, they're going to be able to utilize even the excess, the excessive horsepower that we have in a better manner than that. So, uh, you know, I just thought this would be something I witnessed, something I wanted to bring the attention. And a plus, you know, because I'm a dad. Now, now I'm a dad. I mean, well, my son's about to graduate, so I've been a dad a while, but I came from the, yeah, dad, you don't know what you're talking about, you know, when I started racing, <laughs> to now being the dad, like, listen to your dad, he knows what you're talking, what he's talking about, or who's ever coaching you, whoever, whoever you have as your, uh, your crew chief. Uh, letting you know, listen to them. They're watching from the outside. They can, you know, and then also pay attention to the racers around you. If if you see somebody coming high and then getting in the turn and they're pulling on you in the next straightaway, there's a reason for that. They are using that momentum. Stop driving down so low. Even if you gear a little, you know, say higher in the rear, if you had some teeth, it's still, I think that the momentum, corner speed is king. You know, I said it a long time ago, and it continues to be true. If you can keep that corner speed up, if you can keep that momentum up, you're going to be faster down the straightaway. You're not going to bog your motor and everything that you just don't want to happen. So, all right, guys, uh, I hope this was useful information to you. It was just something that it was just like, man, I got I to gotta do a video on that. that uh, especially since, you know, a bunch of kids are going to go, ah. I don't want my dad to be right. <laughs> so thank you very much, all of you, for stopping by. And I, I hope you stop by again. It'll be Sunday, right? I do two videos a week. So it's Thursday and Sunday. I don't know. I'll, eventually, I'll remember that. All right, guys. <laughs> I appreciate you coming by. Later.